Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Fundu Tester. So this is a continuation of a Test Sigma tutorial. In previous sessions, we had a discussion on uh, what is a no-code automation platform, and we had a walkthrough of a Test Sigma platform. In this, we are going to write our first automation script on a Test Sigma platform. And apart from we will learn how we can create a new project, how we can run our test against the multiple devices like a Chrome or a different OS, and uh, we will see how we can record the elements and uh, we will see how we can create a different set of a test data and before moving forward don't forget to like and share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe for new testers camera rolling action so i am on a test sigma platform and here we can see from various ways we can create a new project uh, on clicking on uh, uh, this side plus button uh, there is a one option to create a project and apart from this side we can create a new project here i am going to create a new project and i am going to give a name as a fundu tester demo project and uh, simply we can create apart from this uh, this platform supports multiple applications so we can select uh, any project like a windows for windows application ios android application even they have recently launched the desktop windows as well so but this in this we are going to discuss about the windows so i am going to create for a uh, web applications and i have going to create a project so project has been created successfully as of now it is a blank project there are no test now we are going to write a automation script for a login functionality so i am going to a demo application and we are going to automate this page we are going to enter username and password and we'll simply click on the login button and we will see how we can uh, store test data for a username and password and how we can record these elements let me create first test i'm clicking on a create test case and giving a name as a login test and there are two options available here record steps or write a test manually and apart from there are some advanced options available uh, who is a assignee uh, whom I am going to assign this test case apart from the priority status so initially it will be a draft once it is approved it will go to the approved state and uh, type of a, a test who will be the reviewer if I am going to assign to my senior uh, team member or uh, my manager is going to review so I have to select the name of a reviewer apart from a test data profile and all these things I can see here so as of now simply I am going to uh, click on a write a test manually and we will navigate to this screen here we have to write a steps in a plain english so first step will be we are going to navigate to the particular website so we have to specify the url and simply need to click on the create so first step has been enter and later on we have to record the elements because we are going to perform activities on a various elements so what we can do we are going to the elements tab and uh, here we have to write uh, multiple elements so for entire uh, functionality we simply record the elements or we can create elements as well as we can import the element but here i am going with a record to record the elements simply we have to uh, install a one uh, plugin which we can see on a dashboard uh, chrome extension ex uh, extensions this plugin we have to install on a clone later on only we can record the elements again i am navigating to elements tab and simply i am going to click on a record button so we'll navigate to the new window and here we have to enter the url and whatever the elements we want to record we just need to click on the element so all the element will automatically get recorded so first i'm going to click on a username field you can see it is highlighted with the green color i'm just clicking on username and we can see element got recorded and it is showing a screen name as well because it is capturing from a uh, title of the web page so it is a showing screen name element name we can update the element name uh, for example let's say i want to update as a uh, username username and uh, we can see the x path and simply travel all these values are available and just uh, click on the update so first element is recorded now i am going to record a uh, uh, password and login so simply clicking on a password done and login done so all this three element recorded and simply i have to just update so uh, this one is for a password button so i am updating to a password and the next one is a 
uh, this is a login button so i'm simply writing login btn it is done update and we just need to pause the recording so simply we just need to click on it done all the rec elements got recorded and we can see all the elements are displaying here so now wherever we are going to use this element in future also wherever we are going to create a new script we no need to write uh, again inspect this element or uh, do something is simply while writing a test script uh, it will show all the elements so this is the only one time activity to just record element apart from we have to write a test data profile so here we can see the create option uh, basically test data is uh, for a uh, various tests for example login test we are going to test for a valid data invalid data or different uh, set of a password different set of a username so all these things we can write here so i am writing test uh, test data for login and uh, here we have to provide the set name so positive test or negative test like this we can do uh, this is going to a positive test and here we have to map the values so what are the values for example this test we are going to map values with a uh, user, username and password so we have to write a username and a password and here we have to enter the valid uh, username and valid password if we have three fields or more field like uh, let's say some random fields we have uh, let's say we have a field one here multiple field so we can write a whatever value we wanted to write and we just need to map the data so data one and data two so like this we can add multiple data here but as of now for this login functionality we are going to have only uh, two values uh, those are username and password simply i am going to create and data has stored so whenever we are going to execute the login test we just need to map with this fields username and password so again now moving back to a uh, test cases now the question is test data we have updated and we are going to map with the test case before that we have to map a test data with the test cases so we need to go to the edit and here we can see the option test data profile so we have added a test for a test data login so here it is showing and uh, simply positive test then we have to select this one and update now we have linked test cases with test data profile now next is uh, whatever the actions we are going to do we have to write that and simply we are clicking on this one we can see the various actions here navigate to test data enter test data into element field enter test data in the field using javascript executor so sometimes uh, we are writing simply clicking or some activities we are performing sometimes we are doing on using javascript executor so all these nlps are displaying here we just simply need to enter uh, write something based on the nlp so if i write enter so we can see now all the nlps related to enter is showing here i am going to enter test data into element field my test data will be a parameter and we can see now we have two parameter username on which field we are going to enter username field the step is done similar way we are going to write for a password so enter test data our field will be a password and element is a password button and test is done and next, last one is a we are going to do a click activity so simply you need to write click on element and we have to here specify the element and element will be login button and create so test is done in just a four line we have completed first login test and i now i am going to run the test to that we have to click on the run button and here we can see the configuration so against what we are going to execute a test so there are different test labs available test sigma lab local devices we can configure the local devices if i want to execute on my this machine then i can execute the test source labs browser stack lambda test and uh, apart from against each and every test lab we have to select the test machine so i am going to execute on a mac we can see the windows mac or linux mac i am going to select and uh, different os available we can select anything google chrome latest version so i'm selecting latest one and uh, i'm running the test so my test is running and uh, we can see the it is booting and once it is done we will see the execution status 
so now we can see our test got uh, executed and the status is a pass so here we can see against each and every field uh, for example this is our first activity we are going to a uh, user we are going to uh, this website so it we can see the screenshot here i am going to expand so this is the website we have navigated and this is how it looks so basically it is uh, recording all the steps one by one and we can see the various activity uh, screen time and uh, metadata and all these things we can see the url and uh, all the data and all these things and if i click on this next step uh, we can see the action so next step we have entered the username so here we can see the uh, username has been entered and if i go to the next step we have entered the password so again uh, with the screenshot we can see password is entered and we can see the what are the test data is being used what is the element is used so this element and this test data has been used and all this activity we can see here and uh, post execution we will have a recorded video as well so initially if it is not available then we have to just simply refresh the page so now video is available and we can see the video is playing here i am going to full screen mode so now we can see it is navigating to website and now we entered a username waited for some time entered the password and simply it will click on the login button done and we are navigated to navigated to uh, this site so this is how without writing any single line of a code we can execute our test so now we will see how we can execute on a another uh, against a different uh, browser or different OS so let's say I'm going to select here a Windows and I have a Windows 11 10 I'm going to select Windows 10 I'm going to execute on a Firefox and a browser version will be a latest one and I'm going to run now so it is running on uh, we can see the windows 10 and uh, mozilla so earlier in previous video we have seen uh, it was showing a map uh, make kind of a interface so now with this test we will see the windows kind of exit interface it will execute uh, test on a windows machine and a mozilla browser so once it is done so here again the with the same previous execution we will see the all the details here and if i'm going to the video we can see the device so here we it is it took 18 second and uh, see and now it looks like a windows here we have a close button it is simply opened uh, Mo mozilla and we can see all the actions whatever actions we have performed so this is a beauty of a test sigma without doing anything our test is done and in just 10 minutes we have written our automation script and we can execute on a hell lot of devices the same thing if we have to do on a traditional framework then we have to write a so many lines of a code we have to configure all the browsers all the devices even on a first day i don't think so we can execute on a different machine or machines or a different os or a different browser so there is so much chaos we have to go on through and it will take a while to just get into a first test and on a test sigma simply like this in a first 10 minute we can write a first automation script and we can execute on any machine whatever we can think so this is all about a first automation script and uh, in next we will see how we can uh, create a test plan and a test suit on a test sigma i hope uh, this is clear and if you have any doubts feel free to reach out to me in a comment section and don't forget to like and share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe for new tests thank you so much